Can't pay $5 for the boy client? Well, don't worry. This one's free. And so will boy once it's completed. You broke f- There's a great alternative that keeps your Steam stats and lets you play with your friends on Steam like normal. This is not for the pirated version of Black Ops 3, and if you haven't invested in the game, then... This client slash patch gives you better protection against malicious people on Black Ops 3 Steam, and it fixes the FPS issues too. It lets you change your name on the fly, which is also a cool feature. I'll leave the stuff in the description below for you to install. The installation and use of the patch is simple as 1, 2, 3. Literally. Go to Shivers Soft Devs, or Sirius's, GitHub, and simply download the zip file. Once it's downloaded, extract the file anywhere. Once you do, just open it. See? Easy as 1, 2, 3, whoa actually four but it's super simple make sure the patch is running before the game is launched so it actually works like a condom you just can't put it on when you're two inches and just like that you're running black ops 3 smoothly while being protected there are notes that shiver soft dev mentions about this patch this tool does protect you from many remote crashes and exploits this tool does not prevent people from getting your ip address when they're in the lobby with you do not attempt to use cheats with this tool. Most cheats are incompatible and your game will crash. If your anti is a lethal file, add an exclusion. The tool is protected from reverse engineering to help deter cheaters from using the patch to develop new exploits. So if you play with your friends, make sure they have it on too and you guys share the same network password because if one of you guys doesn't, you might as well not use it at all. I've been using it personally and it's been great to me and I have not had many issues. Except one. It may have been due to loading and unloading mods a lot, but what happened is that the patch sort of stopped working at one point during it without me noticing. To be fair, it was the only time I've used mods with the patch, so I'm not sure how well it runs, especially with the loading and unloading multiple times. Besides that, it's been flawless. Let's talk about Boy. I made a short video and a video talking about installing it for free and the option of supporting the Patreon. I did not know the free option wasn't supposed to be a thing, and I mistook someone's YouTube video for it being a thing. He took the video down and I took my short down. The main video remains because it's slight, it slightly mentions the free version, but I do push for the support of the Patreon. I personally did support and you guys should too. Mo was a hardworking man and honestly all the unnecessary feedback he's gotten from so many people is absurd. Please support it, it's only $5. It's clearly in early development, so there are many issues that are being found. It is an alpha from what I've heard. The fact that the boy client is even being made still is amazing. So please stop it with the unnecessary feedback, all the bullshit that contributes nothing to the, to the development and give actual feedback that can help and improve the client. For people saying that they thought it was free, it is not currently. It will be in the future, but once it fully releases, it's currently an alpha or beta still being play tested by many players that have supported Momo on Patreon for literally only $5. If you can't spare that, then I'd say you wait. The client currently needs financial support to help it get it off the ground, and for how far it's gotten, it's absolutely amazing. So please, honestly, like, as a community, let's be great to the people trying to make this community a better and safer place. And stop being such a broke f-